happy Friday! Today was a good day. Work was not bad. And it's actually like 65 degrees out and sunny today. I'm pumped about it. So I am on my way to Ariel and Galia's place so I can snag them. And then we're going to go on a boat ride with our friends for a little bit. I think it's going to be a pretty chill weekend. Um, after the boat, we're going to my friend Ben's for dinner. Like just doing like a potluck style dinner tonight and not going out because tomorrow morning we are all getting up early to go to a hike I've been dying to go on. Um, it's like an hour and a half away, but it'll be so worth it. Oh God, I look like a mess when I take my hat off. Um, I'm home now. The boat was so fun. I'm sober. I did not drink on the boat, even though everyone else was. Still had a blast. Um, now I'm home. I'm letting Lolly out. Probably gonna touch up a little bit and then go to Ben's for dinner. The gross shit you see in elevators. Those are literally used band-aids. Ovi! Oh, Happy birthday, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Who's over here? Leave fucking around. How is it? <laughs> So, so uh, I got an announcement to make. I happen to know probably two of the most beautiful girls in the entire world. Uh, neither of which are with me right now, but... I was waiting for that. Uh, <laughs> Rise and shine. Good morning. It's Saturday. I did not drink last night, but I was still up until 3. Chilling with the homies. And it's currently um, 7.30. I got up at 7. Yeah, ready to rock and roll on this hike today. Good morning. What you got? Vegan breakfast for That looks so good. How much did I pick up my moped? I saw you on your moped. It's stretch time. Yes. the fuck out these bitches just convinced me to climb up this entire I can't even okay, how to turn the camera you can't even tell this is steep as shit like my heart's racing but to come up to the top of the waterfall with the help of Tony not kidding though he literally grabbed my hand like the entire time and helped me <laughs>
Oh my gosh, it's like 5.30 p.m. and I'm just now getting home and we left at like 8 a.m. Well, I left here at 8 a.m. We didn't leave San Diego until like 9 a.m. probably. So that was a full day of hiking. Like that took up the whole day, but it was so worth it. It was my favorite hike I've ever been on. Um, I really love Ho Chi Minh and La Jolla, but this one was just like, wow. Like perfect amount of difficulty and that waterfall was just like, perfect the views were perfect the weather was perfect the people were perfect it was a good time but now i'm so thankful to be home i'm running on three hours of sleep i'm ready to take a nap eat dinner and cut a lolly okay i tried and failed to nap but i did read a few pages of my bible i journaled i rested my eyes for a little bit showered and then I finally got ready i'm exhausted but i need to make an appearance because it's Kate's first time hosting and I know it'll be a good time and I obviously want to see my friends, but I'm definitely gonna like need to pass out early. I'm so exhausted. Also, I just got the magnetic lashes, like magnetic eyeliner with magnetic lashes and they work actually so good. These ones were like $15 on Amazon. They're a little obnoxiously long, so I might trim them, but they feel really like sturdy. We'll see how the night goes. Y'all, I am so proud. I told Allie earlier I wanted to be home by midnight tonight because I'm getting up early to go to a workout in church and I only got like three hours of sleep last night and I wasn't drinking tonight. So midnight was my goal and you probably can't see it, but I got a minute to spare. It's 11.59 p.m., baby. Also, I just realized how freaking hoarse my voice sounded in that. I literally feel like I was like screaming over music at the last party just to talk to people. <coughs> and I lost my voice. On another note, lash is still on. Be impressed. Good morning. Usually my room is super bright, but I actually shut my patio door blinds. So it's like way darker in here, which is not a good thing because I want to sleep in. But it is 7.30. I'm going to a workout class at 8.30. So I'm going to get up, feed Lolly, make some tea, etc. Then after the workout class, I'm going to rush home, get ready in like 20 minutes, literally, and then go to church. And then I don't have any plans for after church, but I feel like I might go to the beach for a little bit because it's supposed to be 72 degrees today, which is the warmest it's been in a while. I feel like I'm going to need a nap, but I can always nap on the beach. <laughs> okay, I got home from my workout. It was a really good one today. I got ready for church. I'm now eating oatmeal. And then I'm going to read my Bible and I'm going to go to the 12 o'clock service instead of the 1030 because I just don't want to rush. <laughs> I think you got it all, Lolly. I don't think there's anything left. Y'all, God is so good! I know I'm like hype after church every freaking Sunday, and I never even like know what to say to you guys. I could like talk about this forever. I'm just like so excited and happy and eager after church, but this week especially has just been super deep and validating for me. It's been a tough one. Um, I struggle really hard with a few sins as we all do and I've just been praying about them so much extra and everything in a sermon I watched online this morning and the service in person and my young adults group like all of it was so related and exactly what I freaking needed and I've been feeling so weak with my sin and like just begging for God's strength and he really helped me this week. He really, really helped me this week. And I'm so freaking grateful. <laughs> so yeah, if you're ever struggling with something specific, I highly encourage you to look up sermons specific to that subject. Like they're all over YouTube um, and definitely get involved with your church, get involved with the community. That's what's helped me so much too, is just like surrounding myself with other Christians and really trying to dive deep into a Christian community. It makes such a big difference. I promise you. But wow, yeah, I'm going to be sharing these sermons on my Facebook page because most of the churches record them now and highly encourage you to like scroll on my page and watch them because they're so freaking good. Um, now I just dropped off my friend Hannah who came with me, which is awesome. I didn't even know like very many Christians out here and then like I've met some through Instagram or just like realized people were Christian through Instagram and now I'm like, hey, come to church with me. Let's go um because i hate going alone i like to go with friends so i just dropped her off i'm gonna go home i'm gonna read my freaking bible i'm gonna take lolly for a walk probably it's already two o'clock um and i'm going back to church at five because there's like a special relationship event going on tonight 
um, basically talking about how to prosper in relationships and really focus on God while growing relationships, which I definitely need. Not just like romantic relationships, which I do need that. Single as a Pringle and praying for that perfect Christian man to come into my life at the perfect moment. Um, but right now focusing on making myself that perfect Christian spouse for my future husband. But also just being a good Christian in all relationships, meaning friendships, family relationships, romantic relationships, like all of them. So I'm excited for tonight. Okay, today's turning out to be a really awesome random day. So I walked like Wind and Sea Beach with Wally for a little bit and then realized that Sips opened up a new location over there, which is like a vegan Asian restaurant. So I got these like vegan crab rangoons and they're so good. And then I also got a vegan brownie cheesecake that looks amazing. I haven't tried it yet. Probably don't need it, but I can't deny sweets. And I'm enjoying it at the Cove with Lolly. Literally perfect day. Oh my gosh, look how good that looks. Mmm. She tastes as good as she looks, friends. Okay, I got home just in time. Literally changed right back into the outfit that I wore to church this morning. And we're off to church round two today. Okay, sorry y'all. I haven't updated you, but after church, there was like a little get together group thing at a restaurant called Urban Plates, which is literally a mile from me, like so close. But I didn't realize that it was the one right next to me. Like I thought there was probably tons of Urban Plates. Um, so I went to Ralph's after the church event and it's literally next door to Urban Plates where everyone is meeting up after. And I wasn't planning on going, but because I was like literally next door, I decided to go and I met so many new friends and I'm so excited that I went. And the like relationship talk was so good. I'm gonna try to link some of the sermons that I watched today in the description if I remember because they were just like so freaking good. Okay, it's officially bedtime friends. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next video. Love you, bye.